What's up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and yet again, I'm still on the Evolution X latest version, which is version 5.4, 24th February 2021. But I would say the last two builds of this Evolution X ROM was a shame on the Evolution X's image. So what happened to those last builds? If you ask me, well, the first time it broke the mic, like if you connect a headset with your device, then you can do your WhatsApp calls or even Telegram calls or any other app based calls because the mic was simply not working when you connect a headset on the second last build. Now on the last particular build, it broke the safety net by default. But here on this 24th February 2021 build, yes, I have downloaded it and I have clean flashed it. And the file size of Evolution X right now is about 1.4 GB. And if you want to flash this ROM, you can click on the card right there. The flashing procedure is still similar. Let me show you right now the safety net first. As you can see, the safety net passes right out of the box. So that has been fixed. No issues so far with that. And about the mic, well, I have tested the device's internal mic and also the headset mic over here is working flawlessly right now. No issues, even the Google Assistant, let me show you. Okay, Google. As you can see, the trigger with the voice assistant works super fine. Let me show you one more time. Hey Google, as you can see again, it's working fine. So Google Assistant right now works fine. And even like I have tried WhatsApp calls and Telegram calls, both are working super fine. No issues with that. And even you can use messenger and stuff. No issues. The calling is working perfectly fine. Even with Vaulty and stuff, it works flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. Now talking about DRM info, yes, if you have not broken your DRM certification, it will be L1 for you. But as I have broken it and I have flashed the persist image with the fast boot folder kind of file. So that's why my DRM still shows L3. So yeah, no L1 certification for me. But if you have not broken it, it will be intact and it will show L1 over here. So you can stream Netflix and Amazon Prime over here without any issues in 1080p. And other than that, let me show you, I have installed this ANX camera zip file with uh, like Orange Fox recovery and there is a specific modified zip file over here. I will not recommend you using this, just use, like if you have magic, just flash the ANX camera module from the official ANX camera website. But this is a modified kind of zip, which I have flashed with Orange Fox recovery. I'll link that below in the description too. So you can just flash it and you will get the ANX camera working. If you just flash that like TWRP or like Orange Fox flashable ANX camera zip. But with that, there are some problems. The portrait mode is working. As you are noticing, the portrait mode is actually working flawlessly. There is no issues with that. But the problem starts when you switch to the video mode. Let me show you. With this video mode, there is only 1080p 60fps option. There is no option like the 4K 60fps. Those things are completely missing from this. So yeah, if you are flashing this, make sure you don't need the 4K 60fps options. But with the front camera and stuff, everything is fine. As you can see, the front camera is working flawlessly. Even if you go to the video mode with the front camera, there is a 1080p 30fps option. So that's not a problem here. But of course, the 48 megapixel mode may not work. Let me actually show you by clicking a picture. As you can see, it still takes a 2.8 megapixel photo. This is not a 48 megapixel actual photo. So yeah, the 48 megapixel mode bug is still there. So that's a problem. So the 48 megapixel mode and the video in 4K 60 FPS is not working with this zip. But let me tell you the Evolution X does not come with any camera pre-installed as of right now. So if you need a camera, you have to install either the Google camera Unix version, which you'll get from the card right there or you have to flash the ANX camera zip or you can go with any other Gcam or something if you want to install them. And here, let me show you some more things. The stock launcher is same, the pixel launcher that you get by default. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer, swiping down gets you to the notification panel or the quick settings panel. Widgets are working flawlessly and to the left you get this Google's discover page again. So yeah, everything is like pretty normal and pretty similar that it used to be. And let me show you, you can add a couple of toggles over here. This is how the quick setting panel looks like. There are a plethora of toggles that you can add. I have definitely added a couple of them. And of course, the screen recording is there of the Oxygen OS. As you can see, there is the Oxygen OS kind of screen recorder. With this, you can change the resolution and stuff, the bit rate, the frame rate, everything else you can change. Also, you get the stock Android, Android 11 screen recorder. And here, as you can see, you can record with the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time. No issues with that. And also there is the reboot toggle. So that's great. You can directly reboot to recovery 
by just tapping and holding on this toggle and there is the fps counter too so these things are still present dreaming is there no issues with the quick toggles over here so here in the android version section this is how it looks like on top we of course have the evolution x logo then if you tap and like keep tapping on the android version as you can see this is of course based on android 11 and from here you can see the evolution x version is 5.4 and the security patch is latest of february 5th 2021 let me scroll down the build maintainer is still johua so of course and the stock kernel is perfg and the build date is 25th february 2021 it shows over here so again this is just an amazing build again by joe huab i would say and he keeps like fixing problems because the problems keeps coming that's what custom roms are supposed to like have and this is just an experience of flashing custom roms and here and there some things might break but the developers will fix in the time so yeah let me just jump into the system and we have the system updated over here so you can check for updates from here of course that works fine but the new thing which i have been noticing from the last like three builds or couple of builds over here is that in the gesture settings over here if you go into the system navigation gestures and in the settings if you are noticing there is the gesture bar length customization also the gesture bar radius customization so that is great as you are noticing you can decrease the radius size if you want to as you can see if you notice the pill bar over here on the bottom let me right now switch to the 4dp directly and as you can see the gesture bar has become quite thick so you can actually customize the thickness also the length of it if you wanna like have a smaller length so you can do this as you are noticing it looks really really beautiful and you can customize the thickness and the length both so that's great and you can have the haptic feedback also there is the back gesture animation that you can disable also if you want to hide this pill bar completely you can hide that too as you are noticing right now there is no pill bar but yes even when the pill bar is hidden as you can see whenever the keyboard comes there is that gap but yes there is some kind of zip to remove this gap i guess or a magic module or something if you want to not have that gap you can flash those zips but yeah this is how it is as of right now and there is also customization to like the back gesture and you can adjust the height of the amount used size so yeah the, and the dead zone option is also there two button three button navigation is also there there is a quickly open camera and the swipe to screenshot is also there and the scrolling functionality is also working super fine right now no issues as you are noticing there is the scroll delete and edit option so the scrolling is right now actually working fine then we have the power menu option and of course we have the switch screen off then the adaptive playback and stuff and double tap to sleep on the status but is working flawlessly in the front camera sounds we still get these super mario star wars etc new sound options you can have those and let me show you we have the gboard as the default keyboard over here still and yes there is the double tap to sleep on the status bar works super fine double tap to wake 2 does work super fine right now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed from the lock screen and as you just saw the animation works super fine even with my left hand thumb let me show you the animation again and as you just noticed the animation is working fine and the fingerprint scanner speed is fairly fairly fast even from the always on display there was a delay earlier but right now that too has been fixed uh, if you are noticing there is no delay at all whenever i tap the fingerprint scanner it works 100 percent of the time so very reliable fingerprint scanner experience over here no issues so far with the fingerprint scanner and here let me actually show you with the night light turned on and with night light turned on from the always on display again it works fine now again from the always on display with my left hand thumb works fine now let me show you from the lock screen with the night light turned on and again with my left hand thumb night light turned on from lock screen works great right now let me jump into the customization of course the customizations are huge on evolution x and still i would say if you want to go to the themes there is the dark theme customization you can choose it to raven black if you're using the dark theme that looks very very beautiful in my opinion and here we have the clock style changing option and there are plethora of lock screen clocks as you are noticing there are all these presets over here there is some kind of ide clock i don't know what that does and we have the accent color customization and as you can see there are the presets for the accent colors plethora of like presets over here that you get for the accent colors i would say i've been using it with the pixel blue works great for me there is the accent color picker and let me show you there is also status bar icon style customization too and we have the g visual mod this is to adjust the status bar height and the rounded corners as well so you can have extra large padding or something i guess 
and there is a volume panel customization tool still so by default this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this or you can have these AOSP expanded compact audio and tiled option for the volume panel custom header image you can set that quick setting tile style you can change that too from here as you can see and we have the quick setting tile disco enabled and with that as you can see right now if you enable a lot of things it just like depends whatever you do it will switch to the different colors as you are noticing so yeah a lot of colors that you get over here and here we have the quick setting toggle tint and status bar opacity and panel opacity kind of customization let me go back we have the status bar option we have the clock and date then the battery bar customization status bar indicators is there from here you can enable the battery percentage on the status bar of course still the customizations are similar that it used to be view wi-fi icon you can have and then we have the display view lte icon and stuff and inside icon manager we have the headset bluetooth etc icons enabling option let me go back to the notifications we have the heads up disabling option so that's great and if you scroll down we have the battery charging light and stuff enabling option and we have the show on new notification this is the edge lighting kind of customization vibrate on connect call call waiting disconnect everything is there inside quick settings we have the column and row number customization vibrate on toggle touch then if you scroll down we have the edit icon and stuff and we have the power menu customization from here you get the advanced reboot so from here as you are noticing there is the google smart home kind of customization and inside advanced we get the directly rebooting option to recovery fast boot etc we have the aosp settings over here again and we have the screen record and stuff you can add it on the power menu and also we have the gesture settings so from here we still have the brightness control double tap to wake on doors and switch screen off again is there and over here we have the screen of power button toggle torch everything else is working fine inside lock screen we have the fingerprint error vibration and stuff authentication vibration but again there is no option to always unlock with the fingerprint scanner as of right now and we have the screen of fingerprint if you need that also there is the fingerprint icon choosing option plethora of options that you get and from here we still have all these animations as you are noticing including the cyberpunk 2077 animation i'll show you the speed and stuff later on here we have the lock screen charging info and again talking about charging the 18 watt fast charging is working flawlessly again inside navigations we have the system navigation kind of thing again over here and inside hardware buttons we have these options and inside animations you can change the whole ui animation and the screen of animation too so that's great and inside misc we have the gaming mode launch music app connection on a headset and charging animation you can enable that and inside usb configuration you can set it to file transfer there is a radio info and the force brightness values for the ambient display that's it for the customizations yes still have too much customizations and inside battery settings right now this is how it looks like we have this thermal profile management per app so that's great you can see the full battery usage just by tapping over here and if i scroll down there is a smart charging adaptive battery battery saver also there is the last full charge when you did that and we have the screen on time of course and there is the battery temperature so you can see the battery temperatures but yes there is no charging cycle or something as of right now those have been removed for some reason i do not know why so no charging cycles or the current battery capacity design battery capacity those kind of things talking about battery life i have been getting pretty good battery life you can get six to seven hours of screen on time easily on this rom as you are looking at the screenshots yes i took those like in the long screenshot mode and that worked fine in the display settings we have the lock screen first so from here we have the always on display and we have the double tap to check phone wake screen for notification ambient for gestures are there and we have some more things let me go back we have the brightness level dark theme night light live display so from live display you can have this rgb control and from picture adjustment you have the hue saturation intensity and contrast customization let me go back we have the adaptive for auto brightness inside styles and wallpapers you get these themes and again you can have all these live wallpapers over here in the section as you can see you can download and apply anything i have been using a wallp wallpaper over here i'll link that app in the description over here we have the rotation changing option then double tap to wake pocket detection enable blurs and the dc dimming mode is there so right now in the sound settings this is how it looks like we have the media call etc volumes and we have the show volume panel on the left side if you want to have that and let me scroll down we have the ringtone vibration kind of thing and we have the pulse option the pulse visualization if you want to enable that and then we have the screenshot sound touch sound touch vibration etc disabling option we also have the me audio dirac and with that you can enable the me audio dirac and as you can see with this you can set it to youth edition and the sound output with the headphone jack and the bluetooth as well should be pretty good over here there is a hi-fi audio option too let me go back we have the security option over here but yes still there is no face unlock only the fingerprint option is there 
Now let me talk about the performance well the performance has been pretty good so far over here and the RAM management is like pretty good too as usual and here are the Android and Geekbench code of the ROM. So yes Evolution X had bugs but right now it has been totally fixed with the 24th February 2021 build. So I would say this is the right time to go for the Evolution X if you are someone who was waiting to like have the bugs fixed or something. Or if you want to flash a really great stable like custom ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro, this is the like one of the best ROMs. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet, and please share this video with your friends if you feel like. And do hit that applaud button if you want to support my channel. This is Tito from Gary and Tech signing off for today, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.